You see this right here? See that little Leica logo? Yeah, now I'm interested. Now you've got my attention. But don't worry, I'm not one of those photographers. I'm not a Leica fanboy and I don't just use anything with a Leica logo on it. This is a serious review. Hey everyone, today I'm using the Xiaomi 14 Ultra for a day of photography in the city. Now this video won't be a in-depth review analysis of the spec sheet. I'll leave that to the professional tech YouTubers. I'm just interested in the camera because this is co-engineered with Leica and that genuinely is quite interesting. So let's go take some photos, see what it's like to use. What is the experience of using this camera? How does it feel? How easy is it? How convenient is it? And obviously what do the photos look like in the end? And uh, most importantly, Let's have some fun. So I'm into the pro mode on the camera here and I'm actually going to set the shutter speed to 500th of a second or at least that, if the light's good I'll make it faster but most of the time when you're using camera phones shutter speed is just automatic, everything is just automatic. I'm going into the pro mode, shutter speed 500th of a second which is typical for the street stuff I like to shoot, I don't want anything to be blurry so yeah I've got confidence using the phone knowing that nothing should be blurry so that's a, that's a nice to have for sure. You know what, the, the shadow from the ladder actually makes it. It makes the 2D look 3D, because it is. <laughs> Shooting in Leica Authentic colour profile. I can switch between Leica Vibrant and Leica Authentic, but I think the Authentic one looks kind of cool, like straight out of camera. I'm not sure how much editing I'm going to be doing with these images. I think they look pretty cool as they are. I think the phone's doing a good job. Yeah, so it's actually quite impressive how it's tracking the graffiti, then it tracks the subject. Even when I switch between focal lengths, the autofocus is like on point. It kind of knows exactly what to focus on, when to focus on it. It's uh, quite impressive actually. <laughs> I'm joking, yeah. No, I, saw the, I saw this little like text oh. and I thought, He's shooting straight. No, 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 no. What you got? What are you shooting with? M10P? No, M240. Exactly, yeah. M240P? That's the is that 10, thing? Is it? Have a good day shooting, mate. Same yeah. with you as well. Like, I saw your face, I thought. <laughs> <laughs> YouTube, I thought yeah. yeah. It's I me. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, mate. See ya. Oh, I actually stopped just to take a photo of this poster. Where did everyone come from? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. What's happening here? Let's get a shot of this. So I've seen a load of green garbage bins and a red garbage bin. And I'm not saying this is going to be a good photograph, but my eye spotted it. I saw the colours. I'm just going to sketch it. And I use the word sketching because I did a workshop with Matt Stewart last year and he mentioned how he uses his camera phone to line up possible compositions or at least play around with stuff he's seen. He might not take the photo, he might not get his camera out to take the photo, but at least he's developing his eye and it's easy to use the camera phone to do that. So this is effectively sketching. It might not be a photo, it might be a photo, but I'm just seeing what the frame looks like as a, composi as a composition and then if it develops into a real photograph then it does, but it might not. But I've seen some garbage, is what I'm saying. I love how everyone's like, what is he doing? Pointing his phone camera at bins. But I've seen a red bin, red garbage, green bins, green posters, red posters. No one's going to see that photo. You just saw me trying to take a photo of some bins. I'm not going to show anyone. But my point stands that if you see a photograph or a potential photograph, or you see some colours, or you see some compositions, just sketch it on the phone camera because it's much easier than legitimately trying to get a good photograph. So it's just about training your eye, I guess. Um, but everyone thinks you're weirdo because I guess that is weird. It's just some bins. So no, this just works nicely. I don't really know what it is, but the woman on her phone in green, the painting or the photograph on the floor, it's a nice composition. That right there is sketching, but 
this one was a bit more successful. I didn't know if it would be a photograph. I was just kind of playing with it, seeing what the composition would look like. Thanks, Matt Stewart. I'm going to start using the word sketching a lot more, but that looks cool. All right, should we get some lunch? Oh, that actually looks wicked on the times too. I don't know what it is with posters and things on walls today, but I'm enjoying it and this is quite fun to use. Oh, I love that. Mm. Well, there's no point in getting a coffee and not taking a photo with your Leica. That'd break all the rules, wouldn't it? That's good. Something I was interested in testing was the Xiaomi 14 Ultra photography kit. Now this kit is essentially an extra case which you can also attach a grip to. And on that grip you've got more power but also a couple of extra buttons like a shutter button. This really changes the phone into more of a point and shoot and the whole ergonomics of using the device changes. So for this next section of the video, I was interested to go to more of a busier section of London, walk down Oxford Street and treat this phone like I would a regular camera if I was trying to do more run and gun street photography. So let's see how that goes. So we're at a thousandth of a second auto aperture, auto ISO on the main wide lens, which is a 23 mil. Oh, it does feel like a point and shoot with the grip. It feels like I'm not using a phone. It feels like I'm, I don't know, it feels different. It feels cool. Okay, let's dive into some thoughts on the Xiaomi 14 Ultra. Now straight off the bat, it's fantastic. It did everything I wanted it to do. It was responsive, the images look great. I have no complaints whatsoever, which I would probably say about most brand new phones that you decide to buy. I don't think anyone is gonna sit here on YouTube and tell you that a 1200 pound phone, no matter who it's from, is gonna have a rubbish camera. I think they're all gonna be pretty good. But the experience of using it and the pickup ability of a device is very important. And by pickup ability, I mean, do you actually want to use it to go take photos? Now, whether that's a dedicated camera or just the camera that's in your pocket, I think having fun with it is the most important nowadays. First point here, if you're a new photographer or you're interested in taking photos and you don't have a camera yet, but you do have a phone like this or you're interested in getting a phone like this, it's weird for me to say this, but as a photographer, if you're not willing to spend more than the price of this phone, then I would just buy the phone and use the phone for your photography. Which does lead me on to the reasons for that being that in this camera app, there is the pro mode, which 
allows you to change the aperture, which allows you to change the shutter speed and the white balance. All of that is fantastic practice for photographers interested in developing their skills and knowledge base to then spend a bit more money later down the line and buy a camera. Even if you didn't buy a camera, being able to fully customize your settings and tweak the settings to your preference to take photos is excellent. And coming from a professional photographer, this phone was really easy, really straightforward and really fun to use throughout the day. Something I did enjoy using this camera was the Leica profiles. So the Leica authentic and Leica vibrant color profiles you can choose from when you're shooting. A lot of mobile phones, in my opinion, look overly sharp and a little bit clinical. So it was nice to see some profiles that provide a little bit of character and a subtle look to your images. I very much liked the Leica authentic look and most of the images in this video were shot straight out of camera with that profile and a few of them were also shot with the Leica Vibrant. So I think that's a nice touch. Let's quickly touch on the photography kit. Now this is an extra that you have to pay for, but this was a lot of fun. Having this grip on the phone when I was doing the more running gun style street photography, just shooting here, there and everywhere, finding little moments like I would do with street photography, holding this and having a shutter button didn't feel like I was using a phone and it felt like a point and shoot. It felt like it was easy to catch moments. It was quick, responsive. The shutter button feels good to press. And if I'm being totally honest, I thought using this with a phone, you know, I'm, you might as well just use the phone as it is. I didn't think there'd be much difference, but yeah, I kind of forgot I was holding a phone at one point and I was just walking down Oxford Street in London, just, yeah, shooting away. And I was actually really impressed with this. This is a good touch. And also there's a battery in here as well. So using the cameras all day for photography, the, the battery will drain much quicker, that's an obvious, but if this is charged as well, then you get a little boost when using the grip. And then it was also very useful or easy to just take this off and put it back in my bag and then carry on using the phone like a normal phone. So again, that was quite nice. At the beginning of this video, I did poke some fun into the Leica logo, but on a more serious note, what does it mean for this Xiaomi 14 Ultra? Interestingly, the phone camera actually uses Summerlux lenses, meaning you're getting some of the best hardware possible inside such a small camera system. But this also means you're getting more of the Leica experience with a similar UI, the same Leica shutter sound, and also co-engineering in color tuning. Like I mentioned, the Leica Authentic and Leica Vibrant profiles look great. I can really see and feel how Leica have left their mark on this device. And from a photographer's perspective, I can easily recommend this phone to anyone that wants a mobile phone that also takes excellent images. Now, I would always recommend people buy a camera if they want to take it a bit more seriously and they are interested in taking their photography to a new level. But up until then, using a camera phone like this is a smart idea.